I don't know if you find this. You know how everybody talks about the gender fluidity. Everybody, everything's supposed to be gender fluid, right? And and I'm not a, I'm not disagreeing with that. But I, here's something I noticed because this is my first child. Like I had a stepdaughter. My stepdaughter was two, and I raised her from the time she was two years old. But having this new baby, there is an energy that that my wife gives off that I, I realize I just don't have. So, like, when he wakes up out of, out of his nap or wakes up for the first thing, he don't want no part of me. Like, he doesn't want, I, like, even if I try to pick him up, he's like, ah, get, like, get away from me. At Once he's gotten and he's acclimated, then he'll come and wrestle with me and stuff. So it's almost like he understands that there's a different, energy like there's a different kind of masculine energy that i give and there's a different kind of energy that she gives so and and it's not like he's been programmed do you know what i mean like programmed to in the in the in the male patriarchy he he's he's just one so he hasn't read any books about gender fluidity he's not a social justice warrior he just takes to certain and he and you know ted alexandro is Super, super liberal. And Ted was, him and I were having this conversation. You know, his baby's about the same age. It's like just one year old. And he's, he was like, it's the same thing. And so, you know, we're not talking about the tolerance of it, but there's an energy that as a mother you have that. that right. The, the and the man. energy is, is matched. So at subconsciously, the child knows when the, the mother is anxious or has anxiety. Right. The kid will start acting up. And no one really knows what's going on. Um, the mother may not even know, but it's a kinetic energy that the, the child feels. Right. Just the child mother, it just is. So when the mother is anxious, you you'll feel your kid acting up. You watch when you're when you feel that your your uh the your baby mommy is stressed or yeah. you're a lot of the baby's acting up a little. Oh I I absolutely well when she's stressed, he clings to her so right. much like he don't want no part of me or just just right up under her. He stays right up under her, he won't go. So it's like I, I get, you know, and, and it's funny because, you know, I mean, the, the, our podcast has always been about the gender roles and stuff like that. And I've, I've gotten a lot more liberal in terms of it because I, I think that a man can have that. A man can have that kind of maternal energy, too. Absolutely. But I think you you have you generalize. We generalize things so that we can escalate the dialogue. So but. Moreover than that, like, I, here's a, a thing, and me, Ted and I was talking about this, that she can hear him cry. Oh, yeah. I can't hear, I, she's like, you don't hear, I'm like, no, I don't hear it. It's almost like telepathic how connected she is to his right. energy. You know? It's innate, it's instinctual, and also it's instinctual with the, with the kid, too. So they did a study with fire alarms, and kids mm. were sleeping through that big, huge, ee, ee, ee. Mm-hmm. And as soon as the mother says their the kid's name, they're up. Oh, really? Even if it's like a whisper or or whatever, they're like, because it's it's the it's the energy, it's the connection, and and all that stuff. I mean, especially if you're giving birth to the kid, you right. are in that womb right. for you know uh, listening to that voice and stuff. That's they've done studies on that as well. So mm-hmm. it's I mean, you can't. You can't be replaced as a mother. You are the mother, and it is instinctual, and there's science behind it, and there's right. nothing you can do about it. I right, mean, you, right. you know, you can do the gender roles and all that stuff. You might have to work harder, and it can work, absolutely, but it's not instinctual. Yeah, yeah. and he, he also knows, um, like, he knows the difference in the play. Like, my touch is different. It's It's... Even like like another thing he does now is he'll he bites her all the time. He he Ooh. he he bite but he bites me and I bite him and I bite him back, right? Like I he bites me, I bite him right back, and now he don't bite me no more. Right. And I was like, I was like, why don't you just bite him back? And she but she won't, you know, this is her first you, kid. You'd be surprised. All right, how- I have a I have a chapter on biting on my mean mommy book. I'm okay. gonna send this to your to your baby mom. Okay. Um, because all the doctors and everybody said, don't bite back, don't bite back. And I had a kid, my twin would bite his other twin all the uh-huh. time. Right. And I follow the rules, don't bite back, don't do this, don't. 
And I had instinctually, I thought, I just knew the kid didn't understand what a bite felt like. Right. So I took his finger. I said, do you know what you're doing? This is what it feels like. Never bit again. Really? So I think that what uh, my book says, Mean Mommy, it's all about trusting your instincts and being right. a mean mommy and bite your when, kid back. When, when did you write this? When did you I write wrote this? Book? This I wrote before my children's book. By just my children's book, I just wrote. wrote. This was okay. about five years ago. I'm doing the audio book now. Okay. You can get this on Amazon, and you can. Well, I'm gonna send you both. Okay. And you know, and this is for you, Bad Dad, Tom Cotton, my husband, Tom Cotton. Okay. Dad. Okay. So I hope I'll Carrie you, has like gonna 70 back. books that she's gonna pull out every two minutes, like no matter what we talk about. Like my car broke down. Oh, really? I'm well, well I got it. Andre okay. was like, I'm eating figs. She was like, Here's the best fig book right here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The, but it's 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 really I mean, look, I, I, I you know, a lot of times I've always dated women with I, like a lot I've, a lot of women I've dated with kids and I've always gotten along with the kids. And so I like I had a lot. But I think having, you know, having a child so late, it was just because I'm 53. This is my first kid that I'm right. having. And, and it's just so much easier because I'm just not making the mistake. It's just logic. The logical progression of things just is so and so a lot of the well you're just a better person uh yeah. just as not even as a dad just as a human being you're a better person at 53 than you would have been at 23 yeah, absolutely. you just know more and and i and i've been working on myself too and I, what i find a lot of times you know like people have children at a younger age and they're not they haven't really figured their own shit out and so it's it's sort of like it's sort of like watching porn and 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 it's like watching porn and buying buying heroin on Silk Road and Bitcoin. And then you have all these viruses and then you get a new laptop and then you back up from the you, you back it up from the from the from the time machine. And then all the viruses from before go on the new laptop. But you haven't seen the porn and gone through the experience. So these so we kind of we kind of give these kids um the the our neurosis is without eat with it but they don't even have the experience that ends up getting that where we got the road the, the neurosis is from the neuroses the, the neuroses in the first place because it's just like they have this anxiety and stuff but they didn't even do this stuff like i always say like i grew up in brooklyn in brooklyn in the 90s 80s and 90s and i say this all the time you know the the, the headphones beats by dre if you walked around in the 80s and the 90s with a pair of headphones that weigh, that cost four or five hundred dollars, because everybody knows what they cost. The, 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 the branding is such so you see that red cord or you see or even the Bluetooth with the B in it. You would get knocked in the head. There's no way you could walk outside in Brooklyn, 80s and 90s with Beats headphones on. Um, even if you had an iPad, we used to take the iPad and get cheap headphones and uh, not iPad, but an iPod because they didn't have an iPad. <laughs> but the iPod, we would put cheap Sony headphones because if they saw the white cord, if you saw the white cord coming out, yeah. of your head, they, they, you would get stuck up. And yeah. so it's 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 an interesting difference in the way. You know, the way, I, you know, but I, I, I was raised in that. I, I literally don't think. Like I sometimes I think about like how did I survive through that, but all of those things gave me the 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 wherewithal to navigate problems and 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 stuff and because it was just a crazy time, you know. You lost me at porn on your porn. computer. You so was I said porn. <laughs> 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 no, I know I know what you mean. And you were and look, you were uh you knew enough to uh say, look, I'm gonna teach my child this and this is how I feel, and you trusted right. your instincts. Yeah, yeah. And it, and it worked. Yeah, I what why did they say don't bite back? Uh because they say it doesn't work or whatever, all these books, and they say, you know, you're teaching them how to bite more and you do I don't know. I, I'm like a... I'm t I in my book I teach you to trust your instincts. You're a mother for a reason. You have instinctual yeah. uh, mother mm. things and this the theory might be they would I would assume is that you're teaching them that violence is a solution or yeah. aggression is a solution yeah. for problems. I don't see how but. you could be. Uh, but you also say, look, if you get if you bite people, you could get bite, bit back. Like, I don't understand how that's not a 
that's an easy connection to make. Even okay, as so it, uh, just out of curiosity, not that I'm disagreeing with you, Dante, but just uh-uh. playing devil's advocate. Let's say uh, as he gets older, they start to kick. They start to kick and they start to punch. Like, to what end do you? I I'm mean, you throw a hell of a side I'm de- kick. I'm definitely kicking him. I'm side. Oh. I'm a I'm a back back spin and drag and kick him. <laughs> okay, I mean there is a line, and you yeah, also dude, that's the problem, I'm, Carrie. You can't no, give somebody an inch. Everybody, yeah, you but give somebody I, an uh, inch. <laughs> but I think the the real thing is that <laughs> you don't, you know, when you the the concept is not, I'm teaching you to bite, and then I got to teach you not to hit, and then I got to teach you how not to. Hit. The point is, the, the 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 lesson you learn is don't do to people what you don't want done to you. If you don't like it, then somebody else is not going to like it just that i think that's a concept that you can teach without going through each uh, alliteration each alliteration of of what they do just you can go back to the the lesson you don't want you, you want people to do that to you don't do it to them you man score 202 better hear what i've got to say because you won't get it again i'm not an alpha male i'm not a beta male either i'm just a better man better man